Pao, 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 the host, which is the breaker, and the port. First argument is the topic, so I'm just going to say it's testing. Zigbee 2QMTD slash light slash lounge, because that's where we run it. And, oh, light's gone off. Turn it back on. Cool. Hello, welcome to this video. My name is Ben and I'm going to be connecting to an MQTT broker today uh, using Python. Uh, we'll be using a package called Pao P-A-H-O, Pao-MQTT um, and hopefully we'll be able to turn on my lounge lights here. Um, so let's get started. I'm down here now. Um, so first of all, I've got this folder here, MQTT demo. Um, so let's uh, make a Python virtual environment. So, okay. so first we'll do Python and make it go. And so this just means that everything we install stays local to the folder. Um, okay, yeah, it's done. And now we see we need to. I think there's probably a better way to do this. Um, but I don't know it. Okay, there we go. So now I've activated our virtual environment. And so now we can install the pip uh, pao and qtt. So there we go, it's running. Okay, and now it's installed. Okay, so uh, in my folder now, I've got an empty Python script called mqtt demo. You can see my virtual environment file over there. So the first thing we want to do is import the pao mqtt and we just want to import the client and I'm just going to import it as mqtt just because it makes it slightly easier uh, and let's just run that just to check everything is fine and I can't uh, yeah that's all mqtt demo Okay, so that means it's installed correctly. So first thing we need is a client ID. Now this, so this is we're we'll connecting to a um, broker locally first, and then I've got a broker running on a Pi, which will control the lights from. And so we need a client to, so that the broker knows who we are. And so I'll just give our client ID as YouTube. Um, we need the port of the where the broker is, which I know is eighteen eight three. I think that's the like default port, which an MQTT. Uh, uh, well, I'm using Mosquito to, to do the MQTT broker, and that's the default port for those. And then we need a broker address, which for right now is just local host. Okay, fairly straightforward. Okay, so now we do client. I'm going to make invoke the class Ugh. mqtt client the client ID. Yeah, so that's just doing the connection, or well, not connecting, instantiating the class. And then we're going to connect. And then here we have to give it the host, which is the broker, and the port. Okay, and just let me bring this over. Over here you'll see I'm going to start my Mosquito server. So now it's running, and if I... Whoop, can't think. If I now run my script, you'll see look, new connection, YouTube, and then it just specifies, and then it closes connection. So the script just ended at the end. Now that we've connected, let's send a message. So it's fairly straightforward. We just want to publish. First argument is the topic, so I'm just going to say it's testing. And then the next is the payload, so hello. Um, so again, let's look at Mosquito. Run the code. And we'll see Connecting YouTube, receive publish from YouTube, testing, 
pipe bites. It doesn't actually show you the, the bites. There might be a way to do that. I don't know of it. But anyway, you can see it's tested the thing. Um, send the message. Post connection. You can, at the end of the script, do a thing called loop forever. Uh, and what this does is just loops forever. Um, and that means the connection will not die. See, so we connected and now it's just there. This is useful for when you want to receive messages, obviously, because you don't want the script to just end. You want to be able to receive messages at any point, so you loop forever at the very last stage of your script. But we're not doing that today. Um, okay, so we'll just delete that row. So now let's do something fun, turn my lounge lights off. So the broker is not localhost because this is not connected. Um, this is the host of my Pi. So the Pi has Zigbee to MQTT running on it with a little aerial. Uh, so that changes, converts anything from MQTT to send it over a Zigbee network. And the light is a Zigbee light, Zigbee light for my gear. Highly recommend. Um, so yeah, let's. So we'll connect to that Pi. And then the message we need to send is Zigbee. I've got it on my other screen. I am cheating a little bit. Zigbee to MTT slash lights slash lounge, because that's my mind. And we want it we want to set something. And the way you have to write this is I'm just gonna copy it from the internet. Like this. Yep. So it's JSON where you're having to escape the uh, quotations. And we don't want to stay on, we want to stay off. Let's save it. Okay. And this time we're not really gonna use that our local mosquito, so that's not so much use anymore. I'm gonna run it. Oh. Oh, it's gone off. Okay. Uh, let me take this on. Say, so, lights back on again. Oh, maybe I should go bigger. Uh, I know you probably can't see the little screen here. Here, um, but I just kept it there anyway. But I wanted you to see the the glory of the light turning off and so yeah oh I didn't turn that off and that's the window oh and one last time because I want to be able to find my way out turn it back on cool so there we have it that is how to connect to a MQTT broker with Python using pa pa hoo pa pa hoo pa hoo. Oh, the same code. It's obviously the same code. Cool. Okay. See you next time.